talk a little let's talk a little about um, MongoDB right so uh, again when you come from Node.js uh, there's that famous mean stack right which is you know, Mongo Express uh, Angular and Node right uh, uh, of course Angular is not that relevant these days. You have Vue, you have React, etc. But still, when you're talking about uh, Node and Express, uh, MongoDB is something that comes to mind because it's a, a document store. And in JavaScript, of course, you have uh, you're dealing with with documents. Uh, and Go, I have a feeling uh, that mostly you it's most associated with um with with sql kind of uh, databases not no sql so but nonetheless i think uh coming from node and having uh, an understanding about how mongodb works i thought i would give a try to to add some mongodb here in the uh, in this small application right so uh, when dealing with MongoDB in node uh, first thing that comes to mind is of course is uh, mongoose right which is kind of an ORM for for MongoDB in, in, in JavaScript and mongoose is is great uh, in go you have uh, my preference is for this one, which is MGO. It's you say it, Mango, right? Uh, it was during a lot of times uh, before MongoDB uh, wrote uh, its own driver for Go, which is this one, right? Mango was not the official, but was considered uh, the official driver for for Mongo and Go. Uh, seems to me that there was something went, they went part ways and MongoDB decided to make its own driver. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I never looked into it because I know uh, Mango is very reliable. You can see it's officially unmaintained Right, it's officially unmaintained, but it's unofficially maintained. Why do I say that? Because I remember I I, I posted an issue, and I believe it was two or five minutes after uh, this guy here, who was the author of the, the 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 library, he just you know commented back. So it's officially unmaintained, but unofficially maintained uh, I would say and you can see it has more than 2,000 stars of course this is an older uh, older repo but you can see that the official Mongo driver has only like four four eight stars right so I would say it's pretty safe to go with go with Mango uh, so first thing about uh, MongoDB right uh, with Mongoose in Node.js, it does uh, it enforces uh, a, a schema, right? Enforces a schema, enforces you know a, a model. But Mongo accepts any kind of document, right? You don't need to uh, follow any kind of schema, right? So the first thing I do here is I have a package called DB database, right? And it imports uh, Mango. You use a command called uh, "go get" to do this. It's you can go on a, on the Go official documentation. You're gonna see. So the first thing I do, I uh, in this package is I declare here a, a, a variable called MGO session, right? Which is a pointer to a, a session in Mango. And I do this init function. I already explained what it is, right? And I have access to this uh, session. Okay, so this is what I would call the main session. Okay, so it dials, 
in this case the local host but you can have uh, it can be somewhere else it can be hosted uh, I use a free tier of MLab so I would recommend them sometimes I use it so I have this available here but you can notice that I'm not closing the connection and the connection should and that the documentation says that you should eventually be closed right well if I were to close this connection here I would run this function and you know it would close the connection I wouldn't have it available to me so what I did was I first thing I did on my main function was to defer the closing of the session okay defer is a keyword that uh, essentially it puts whatever you declare uh, you put defer in the front it it, it pulls on that it, it puts on a certain of a call stack right and it's going to be the last function to be called but if you put two or three or four uh, defers it, it goes on a on a call stack and it's going to be called uh, on 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 the order of the call stack so it's a stack so it's uh, last in first out and so the first thing I do is I defer the closing of my main connection right and here I have I use copies of it so <coughs> excuse me so for example uh, when the index route is is or when the login okay when I have uh, an attempt to login so it's a post to login I call this login post handler right and it comes to here so we're going to talk about login later okay so I call this function here which is on the controller package right it's called user login which is this one here right package controller user login so the first thing I do in this function I <coughs> I grab that MGO session right which is in my DB package so I grab this session here right I make a copy of it so I get this one right so I make a copy of it I make this one and I defer the closing of the session okay so it's deferred to at the end of the, the, the execution okay uh, all right so this session I have this these methods here right so I give the name of the database which is in my case is recipes <coughs> actually I didn't know why I gave this name but now it is and the name of the collection in this case it's a user login so it's natural to have a user collection right and what it returns to me is the collection okay uh, so this is an empty struct and here I use this uh, find method <coughs> sorry about that in the collection I use this find uh, normally the using of uh, mango you're gonna import another library called bison right and it has uh, some great methods that they they work together right so you can see here this is go doc for b sun right and you have a type m right which is a map uh, of strings to interfaces right so you basically you have this collection with a method find you pass in the kind of a document it will return a, a pointer to a query right and you have another method that treats this query so um, I'm going a little fast here right uh, but this is all very well documented in and you go here to you know go doc right go go doc MGO it's very well documented and you can see that the same goes here with um, the, this beast on here it's very well documented 
if you read the documentation and you read this code, it's going to be very simple to understand, right? So, uh, again, basically, you have to open uh, essentially a main session, and you copy it, and and these copies they don't they are not essentially different from the main session, right? This is a uh, this is a resource allocation that uh, you have to optimize your 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 program for. So, but you have to always eventually, you know, you have to defer this. You have to close this the session. So it's always better to use defer, which is also a great uh, tool that goes that go gives you. Okay, thank you.